Oh, oh like one of them did age up. Freaking Salsa. Salsa's a big boy now. Did we go and do his cast? Did we change his clothes? Also, guys, we have not been taking pictures of any of these children, so thumbnails are gonna be whack when I go when I do the catch-ups. They're gonna be all over the place because we haven't been taking pictures of them. We're so good, so good at this whole business. It's fine. Oh, nice. My uh, DNA thumbnail thing snapped a whole black screen, so that's fun. Looks like we're just sitting here in front of a black screen. Oh, okay. Right. So we moved Sam out. Brant is now a bachelor again. We also need to get him another. Did we give him a potion of youth already? Oh, look, Dip in that dad bod. Dip is rocking that dad bod. Okay, whose cake is this? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Anyway, right, everybody's freaking late for work. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Well, let's just check out. Right, okay. Brant is here. <laughs> Sasha, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I am the very best. Look at this face. He's like, seriously, TV? You as well? You as well, TV? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you're late for work, Brant. I know you're like... You're very sad because you're losing a friend. Oh, who died, Brant? <laughs> who freaking died? Uh, 20 hours from losing a friend. Oh, one of Brant's friends died. Listen, not everybody can be forever young, Brant. You just have magical... Look, potatoes just the same as usual and so is Chip. I don't know why they were so weird at the love festival. Kyra wasn't really your friend. Look, he's getting on real well with the Grim Reaper, you guys, because he keeps showing up at work. You freaking hate Sam right now, though, but you're also kind of friends. Frenemies. Like, he's, he's buddy buddy with Christopher, because Christopher also keeps turning up at work. Which of your friends died? Friend, I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, Hakeem? Acquaintances and co workers? You weren't really. Oh my god, another policeman died. Oh, look, here we go. There we go. Palo Rocco. Palo Rocco died? Oh, my God. He's like a proper, like, one of the NPCs. And Mia Swimanthi, and I don't know her. And Brant, 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 Brant was dead ages ago. We knew that. <laughs> Relationship. It's very awkward. <laughs> Divorced. <laughs> Love that. That's good. Okay, so two of his friends died. Sorry, Brant. Sorry about that. You still got to go to work, mate. You still gotta go to work, mate. So you should, um, late for work. You should probably go to work and stop making eyeballs at the TV. Can you do that? Flaunt that? No. I would just like you to go to work. Go to your job. Go to work. There we go. Good lad. Um, Dip, also not in the mood for work, but listen. Money doesn't grow on trees. Same with Sarah. Off you go. Salsa. Salsa, what is this? I think it's pretty evident. So we're not killing Sarah. I need to run gar garbage out before I get involved in the computer. Be right back. I had to do that this morning too, so sure. I know the feels. We're not killing Sarah. Can we just... Okay. Ponytail, sunglasses, red earring, this llama jacket, these tie-dye... Um, I can't even remember what you call that cut. Boot cut things. I mean... Each of these things might work on their own, but I feel like all together, Salsa, this is not a good look. We need to, you can't go to school until we fix that, frankly. Change sim. Yeah, we need to do, we need to sort that out. You gotta, you gotta be cast, my man. Your two younger brothers went to school. Uh, that, <laughs> that is a choice, Salsa. It is. Let's just, let's just tidy it up a bit. Do you want to, do you guys want to pick one of those elements to keep? He can keep like one of those elements and we'll work the rest around it. Oh my, my neck is so sore, you guys. Oh, kinda. Oh lord, let's check out the rest of them as well. Okay, so his, his every day. Oh lord. Oh lord. I feel like that's okay. We can maybe change the color of those converse. But you know, otherwise, that's okay. Feel. He's got a tiny waist. Uh, formal? Oh no. Oh man. 
That's needs some reworking. What is his waist is so tiny that it scares me. He's really weirdly shaped. <laughs> what is that hairstyle? It's like this little I think the hairstyle's fine, okay? I'm okay with the hairstyle. Do we want to change it? Look at this bright yellow bathrobe. Nice. <laughs> that you're really gonna wear that to a party with those green earrings? Salsa. And leopard print shoes. He's making some choices, but I feel like he needs some help. <laughs> They're okay. They're fine. You can get away with that. Oh, Lord. His shoulders are really broad. He has Brant's shoulders, right? <laughs> he has this teeny Sam's waist. <laughs> so bad. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Um, that's your cold weather outfit. I see. Right. You, he loves dogs. And he's good, right? And he wants to be the best fisherman that ever fished, basically. So, okay. Okay, we can, we're gonna just gonna we're gonna try and keep these all as close to their as close to their um, original aesthetics as possible. <laughs> oh my god! I don't feel like Salz is the rebel though. I just almost like. We're gonna just, we're gonna tone this down a little bit, Salsa. How about that? Hmm. How about that? We're just gonna change these pants, make them a little bit longer. Right? There you go. How's that? A little bit more. Okay, we can work with this. If we make these shorts, maybe, like... There we go. His shoulders are so broad, you guys. <laughs> His waist is so tiny. He should be a quarterback. Honestly, he would be so good. Um, let's go with the green one, maybe, because that's in keeping with, you know, the green stuff that you were wearing in the other ones. And we'll keep those matching. Now, you can keep that. You can sleep in that. Who sleeps in a bathrobe? But it's fine. Whatever weirder stuff goes on in this house. This is just... I don't even know where to start with this one. I do not even know where to start. Um... What are we gonna keep here? <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh my god. You're not a gnome. You're not gonna be a gnome. You're not gonna be. Right, can we? Is there. Oh my word. Okay, right. He's gonna be super flashy. We're gonna go with it. It's fine. We're just gonna go. We're gonna take off the earrings though because I don't feel like that's going for you. No, the earrings, the jewelry, please. Come here. Go to earrings. Right. Okay. Now. We're gonna do something with these shoes. You want statement shoes? I mean, I can get behind. You gotta lose the socks. Right? You gotta lose the socks. You can have the statement shoes, but you gotta lose the socks. Do we? Is there better statement shoes, by the way? Hmm. Shovik, help me. Help me here. What are we doing for statement shoes? They're yellow. Is that too statementy? No, those look like freaking Hogwarts house slippers. Oh, what about those? What about like just black pattern? And I feel like you could get away with that. I feel like you could get away with that. I'm gonna leave him that, that's fine. <laughs> oh, <fancy boy. laughs> I'm trying to keep sort of semi attuned to what he actually spawned in, but it's I'm gonna keep these trousers by the way. He's totally keeping those. They're they're in tune with his little pink scarf aesthetic, I think. But we've gotta do something about this top, maybe. No. I feel like it's gotta be. You can't, he can't have anything like this that's too bulky on the shoulders, right? Because it just looks ridiculous with his body shape. Yeah, we need to like... It needs to be something fairly slim. Fairly slim line. 
too bright. Do you have like a weird bulge? Do you have weird bulges? Is it just me or has he got like weird square ribs? Is that just me? Okay, just me. Uh, let me see, what can we do? What can we do about this? Oh, I kind of want something in this kind of pink and blue. What about this? This is kind of what you had when you were a kid. No, again, with the shoulders. Again with the shoulders. That's not too bad. Okay. Listen, it'll do. This though, this is an outside outfit, so at least do we have to do something about this? <sighs> what the heck happened to those trousers with that change? Um Are we gonna Are we gonna keep those glasses? Guys, are we gonna keep those glasses? Oh, that's swish. Maybe a bit too swish for salsa. He was sort of like in a parsley pink stuff, wasn't he? Listen, we could go we could go all out sixties. Keep it pastel as well. Mm. Jeans though, can we fix the jeans better colours? No. Someone's gonna hurt me. Someone's gonna come back to the stream and be like, what are you doing to that poor boy? Huh. I'm... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing to him. Let's be honest. No, I don't think... Oh, maybe... Corduroy! Corduroy and a fur-lined jacket. We're getting there now, folks. Okay, we need to lose the earrings. The bright red earrings do not. You can't wear those with those glasses. Nice. Nice. I feel like we're getting there now. Um. Huh. I think we're good. Oh yes. He's gonna have some pink glasses on. Hmm. Yep. Okay. We're done. I need to take a picture of him. Listen, he has such weird varying aesthetics that it's bizarre. Can we can we remodel this shirt? No, this shirt's always gonna be gonna be that kind of. All right, fine. It's fine. If we go to this, yeah, that takes that away. Okay, now we need to take a screenshot of him real quick. Let me see if that came out all right, and then we can go. Well, he's pulling a face, but it's fine. Let me just grab one of the smaller children too, while we're here. Look at that. Is he the leader of the Backstreet Kids? <laughs> the smarmy look on his face. Or is this one the leader of the Backstreet Kids? They are like twins, I swear. I can't even film the different face. Right, let me check these. Yep, all right. We're good, we're golden, let's go. We got one of them. I think I have them as babies and now I have them as children. I think I might have missed salsa as a child, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, yeah, right. So I think the other birthdays are coming up pretty pretty soon because we had them all quite close together to the point where we couldn't remember their names. So I think we have a rake of birthdays coming up. We're still trying to get some promotions in the works and things like that as well. So, you know, got a lot to do, friends. And then we need to, to pick an heir, which is going to be interesting. Okay. I think it's good. I honestly think it's good that we moved Sam out because now we can focus more on... The actual younger generations as they come along 
Sarah's off to work. Brant is off to work. You need to go to school. Please, go to school. Look, and your birthday cake is sitting there. Steak has returned home with a school project. Oh, no. Sausage has a school project as well. Salsa's responsibility range is in the range to earn the irresponsible trait. He is so irresponsible. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome, Garza. I don't know what that says at all. I apologize. His performance is okay. Just, you know. <laughs> Did he literally just walk out the door to walk straight back in the door? Good job going to school. Nice. So late. Didn't have to go. Stereo's broken. Go be responsible and repair the stereo. Salsa has collected everything from the mailbox. What was in the mailbox? A toddler book. Homework. Well, okay, well, go do your homework as well because you otherwise are going to get kicked out of school. Right, where is the chill? Did you... Oh, no, look. Look, he's still in the weird bathrobe. Where is your outfits? I have no idea what that language even is, friend. More choices. Open umbrella. No, don't be strange. Uh, change outfit. Yeah, okay. Let's see what we've got for his outfits. See, we did. We did his outfits. And none of his outfits are a weird bathrobe. So I don't know why he's in a weird bathrobe, but hey. He is, so we'll go with it. Right, where's the school project? He's got strawberries, he's got a school project, he's got a weird thing. Let's do homework first, so he doesn't get kicked out of school. Why do you have laundry in there? Take to a hamper. Okay, we'll just do it then, add it to the washing machine. Welcome back, atrocious how or was whatever you were away doing. I don't know where he got this gem either. He missed us um, trying to sort out Salsa's outfits. What a day at work. Dip is Dip needs to get promoted. Dip is doing a terrible job at work. Pretty. Oh, well, this is huge. This is a huge gem. Let's just um, put it in inventory again. <laughs> just put it away because I don't know what to deal with it. Look at these two. Aren't they adorable? It was picking grass. <laughs> it was wet. All right then. I'm very quiet. I'm very quiet. I shouldn't be. My thing is up to max. Which is bizarre. Let me see. See if, if Streamlabs has changed my settings again. I'm going to be very upset. Far too well behaved to be ours. Mm. Brant is super sad. Also, he didn't take us to work today. But he is a one-star celebrity now, so he's literally the policeman around town. Huzzah for that. Alright, let me see what I can do. Properties? Levels? Right, okay. We'll see if that's any better now then, I guess. Because that's it up to up to max which i thought it was when i did 80 talks and let you talk by yourself <laughs> you did a me um the, the children are they they finished that they finished their homework homework complete they did finish their homework okay right here's our guy they're all focused what the heck look at all this purple we never get purple so they finished their homework they're allowed to escape actually they need to work on this place in world uh, place in world. They both got different projects. Interesting. Um, Brandt is still devastated. We need to get Brandt a new boyfriend. Um, well, I hope that is trash that you are a clothing pile. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right. Brandt, where are you at? Look at all this crap that he's got. And what is that? Jet. Nice. Um, okay, so he got divorced. He's a divorcee, but he is like... Uh, a one-star celebrity now. Ta-da! Why do we have no celebrity points? Despite the fact he is so sad. His husband turned out to be just horrific in, in many ways. 
Um, how's Dip's political career going? <laughs> Terrible. It's so bad. Nobody wants to be mean and just money hogging and just awful. So it's going not great. £91 per hour. He's a public official. He's got those. He's got those. So he's doing, I mean, all right. He just needs to keep turning up and, you know, at the daily grind and all that. So that's fine. Her job, she needs to read writing level four. So we can get her to do that now, actually. Or first she's going to fix the computer and then she can do that. Repair. And Brant. Brant just needs to turn up to work and be his awesome self. So we just need to go with him because they can't get promoted unless you're with them because it's really bizarre. Uh, start work, start work carefully. Right, where's our calendar? Do we check these? Tomorrow is whose birthday? Sausage's birthday, right? The next day is Brant's birthday, so holy shit, we need to get him another potion to use tomorrow latest. The next day is Sarah's birthday, so that's fine. And then next week is Steak's birthday. So Sausage's birthday is tomorrow. Listen, I swear to God, we booked events, right? I'm not wrong. I know we did. I know we planned event, planned birthday parties for these little bastards, and yet... There's no birthday parties planned. And I'm not doing it again because I'm pretty sure this is the third time we've done it. So I'm just going to bake them a cake at home and that's going to just have to do. Oh my gosh, where can I get these amazing calendars? What the heck? The calendars are part of seasons. Basically, it shows you the whole year. This is, um, this is, let me think, spring. <laughs> spring, that's the one. This is summer, this is autumn, and this is winter. And basically... It tells you who's at work what days, that's the little blue briefcase, and then the pink birthday cakes are everybody's birthdays. And these are events, like there's a holiday TV season premiere, so, you know, the new season of Walking Dead or whatever is out that night. This is Valentine's Day. This is a talent show at one of the local bars. This is, um, what is this, Starlight Accolades? Some kind of events going on down there. There's Thanksgiving, there's Christmas, there's New Year. And you can plan events too, like you can pick a thing and you can add a holiday or add an event in and basically all that stuff that you had to do right before you did it you can now plan in advance although apparently if you do it and then log out it doesn't work look I put everybody's birth certificates up here too although I'm pretty sure we're missing some what the heck is he doing Brant I know what's gonna cheer you up assist him with the project that is a Brant brand thing to do but yeah, they come with seasons, and seasons was great. Um, she's fixing the computer. He's grand. Oh look, look at this! Look at this father-son bonding. Problem is, right? Salsa is good, so he is not going to take after his evil father at all. He's a good, dog-loving, weirdly dressed individual with a triangular body. Okay, Dip needs to go and secure votes. She's, oh, she's going to eat the birthday cake at last. At least it's getting eaten. Social level four, that's fine. I would like to adult now. <laughs> oh, mood salsa, wouldn't we all? I feel like I'm old enough now that I shouldn't, that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Um, not until you've grown more or you'll always be my baby. The problem is he's asking Dip, so Dip would be like, whatever. Uh, so we'll go with this one because he's definitely not going to say you'll always be my baby. You were conceived in a bush. <laughs> yeah, Dip's evil. He's an evil politician. You need to get off that computer so that, oh no, maybe she can write upstairs. She literally just fixed that computer for no reason then. But it's fine. She can practice writing here. Resume writing. Okay, jet setting to the ruins. She's writing a book about the ruins where she met Dip and conceived Salsa. Which I just think is hilarious. Right, Salsa needs to get a job, I think. Well, actually, he's still a teenager, so technically he's still going to school. But I mean, he's also only done 25% of his homework. What the hell? Do the rest of your damn homework. Reach mental level three. All right, Sausage, calm down. It's Sausage's birthday tomorrow. Are you, you're still helping him with that? That's that's awesome. Palo's spirit is fading away. All right, rub it in. 
It's fine. No. Oh, did they do it? Did they finish it? They made a volcano. Okay, where are you? Oh no, not not smart enough. Oh, he's asking Brant for advice. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Sausage! Darling! Uh, spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Oh my god, sausage, my darling. Uh, no, don't start a chemical reaction. No, put it in your inventory. Save it for school, you numpty. Okay, where's the other one? He's so sad. Oh no, he was asking Sarah that. Never mind. No! You just put the kids' project in your inventory. Where did he get a rose? Potion of... Oh, he's got a potion, potion of you. That's good. Alright, so that's good. That means we can just neck that tomorrow. Someone remind me that he has to drink that tomorrow. He has the smartest sausage in the world. <laughs> Don't get yourself down. Homework complete. Good job, Salsa. Which of these little brats runs the Bash Street gang? Sausage. Listen, he's a freaking overachiever. Sausage is the new dip. Not only is he getting all these freaking points and stuff and doing his new quirk emotion. Hang on now. Emotion bomb. Brant is. Oh no, I'm reading that. Brant is finding it difficult to process his negative emotions in a healthy manner. Oh dear. Richard, welcome, welcome. How is your Sunday going? Feelings of anger and sadness quickly become overwhelming and always result in an overdramatic emotional meltdown. Oh dear. Oh dear. Trigger. Becoming very sad or very angry behavior. When the world rotates around you, it's easy to become the emotional center of your own universe. For these celebrities, anything... I love the brand is the most stable, sense... Like, just level-headed character that we've had in this entire legacy and at the one moment that he gets divorced from his long-term love that's when he hits his fame status and gets this fucking quirk i'm like timing oh my god <laughs> so he's now apparently a bit of an emotional diva he's just going through a rough patch you guys it's gonna be all right <laughs> it's gonna be all right his morning is still in here because he's this his friend is dead as well because he got divorced and his friend is why does she have weird hat on i love that the good timers i relate to him on a spiritual level he joined the good timers like years ago but because he has the potions of youth all the other members of the good timers have gone so he's now the leader and the only other people in it are potato and freaking chip <laughs> can we invite some other people to the good timers please dante cotton you look like you're down for a good time Oliver Kim Lewis is back. I didn't know that. Is she in Stranger Town? Nice. Sam, don't, don't invite Sam Jones. That'd be awkward. Uh, you look like you're down for a good time. And um, yeah, your friend from work. Why not? He's got a magnificent beard. Let's just invite some people. There we go. Now we've filled out the ranks again. They just like, they like to drink bar drinks and they like to play pub games. That's basically what they do. They're basically, yeah. Anyway, that's his club. This is Sausage. Sausage is eating cake. He's having a break to eat some cake because, you know, he's busy. He's uh, done running a gang and doing his homework and doing his project and everything else. Is it your birthday tomorrow? Are you the one that's aging up tomorrow? Yes, he is. Let's see. His public image. He's actually a pretty good public image, which is weird considering what they do. Uh, <laughs> he's such a bad person, though. He's got negative empathy, negative emotional control, negative manners. He's responsible, and he's really good at resolving conflicts. But that's literally it. I think he's going to... Well, let's start a gang gathering. Here's what we're going to do, friends, right? He's going to start. It's 11 p.m. at night. So that's a fine time to be going out on a Monday night, I think. Especially if you're, uh, if, who are you going to travel with? Stick Jones is going to come. It's you and Stick, right? You're going to sneak out. I'm sure what we're going to do. They're going to sneak out. They're going to go to Strangerville, I think. And they're going to start. Because I imagine they've heard about it. And, you know, being kids, they're like, we can go. We can go. I'm sure it's not really haunted. I'm sure it's all just nonsense. So we're going to go to Strangerville with the kids and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> but where? Can we go to the secret lab? 
do you have to find out anything before you go to the secret lab? <laughs> yeah, start at the library. Nah, they're gonna go straight to the lab. They're kids. We're gonna go poke around at the secret lab that they've heard about in in Strangerville. I think we'll invite the, the Bash Street gang as well, just to see. I hope kids can actually do this. I don't know if they can or not, but we're about to find out. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Right? Right? I know. Nothing at all. It's fine. Oh man, I can't turn my neck. It's so sore. Welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. Soon after moving in, the town slogans start to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. Try asking about Strangerville. They might be able to shed some light on the strange situation. Right. Where's our club? Start a club gathering. Club gatherings are not available here. Sims will have to tra travel to another venue. Uh, to one of the Bash Street Kids members residence and gather there. Okay, so we can't start a club venue. So it's just, it's just sausage and steak. What can we do? Let's go view the bizarre plant. Come on, we can do this. Both gonna go look at it. Pretty weird, right? This bizarre plant has an odd glow about it, as if it's being controlled by some other entity. It looks as though there's something growing inside of it. Oh, celebrating sausage birthday. We know, that's tomorrow. First, first, before his birthday, we're gonna break into this facility. Oh look, there's caravans. Are there any of these back doors open? Can we get in through any of these doors? Can we go here? Go here together. Better. Better. Do it together. You're brothers. You're in this together. I didn't like that music. That music was... Was very... Something is going to go very wrong with this. Hire Sam Jones as a caterer. You don't need to bring Sam Jones down here into this. Okay, they can't touch that. They can change outfits or plan outfits. Can't touch any of these things. Oh look, okay, can we examine this? No! Oh man, you can't do this as kids. Apparently, we can't touch any of this stuff as kids. So that sucks. Okay, right, so we're gonna travel. With sausage. And we're gonna go to the town center. It may be because we're traveling with children. You know, it might be. Let's go see if we can find any juicy information about this place of the library. <laughs> the kids fuck it up, right? Mm. Guys. Man, pillows are your worst enemy. Okay, let's see what we can do. It is also like one o'clock in the morning on a Monday night. But listen, we're Bash Street kids, so we don't care. Oh, hello. Talk about Strangerville. Nope. Nothing funny to read. Let's go. We're going to talk about Strangerville to this weird person with lights on their head. Hello. You seen some aliens? We would like to meet some aliens. They just need a uh, not so responsible adult. I volunteer as a tribute. You should really check out that secret lab. I hear there are strange things going on there. You should be able to sneak in the back gate. Yeah, we tried that. If there's some kind of secret lab in the outside side. Oh, look, a scientist. Talk about Strangerville. Let's go. Look at all these cookie people. Who are you? Manny Chank. Oh man, there's like army vans and stuff. I actually don't know much about Strangerville. Up until recently, I spent most of my time at the secret lab in the crater. Thanks, random adult. What can we do? Invite a fake party? Shout forbidden words at him? What What do we get here for this? Be mean to renegades, good timers, page... No, right, okay. Steal stuff. Sabotage objects. Play video games and fight with everyone. Uh, can we steal some stuff from here? 
make a mess, go here together. No, we can't. We can't lift anything from here. Where's the bar? Listen, we should go here. What is this? <laughs> yes. Haggle, go. Steak, you need to come too. Let's do it. Oh, salsa. Uh, excuse me? Did she just see us coming and shut up shop? Sausage learned that John, John, Johnan, Johnan is active. Why are you still talking to that scientist guy? Um. Oh dear. Can we do anything with her? Military personnel. Oh, he went to sleep on a park bench. Go here. Come on. Come investigate this. Is she gonna bite him? I hope she doesn't bite him. His chances at air are going to be significantly reduced if he's doing this. <laughs> what the heck? Is that a lizard? Can we catch lizards? Where are you? Sausage, come here. Where is she going? What is happening right now? <laughs> Hello? Where is he? Is he coming or not? She's just wandering around. Oh my god, look. Someone lives there. In this airplane. How does that work? I don't. Oh no, she's gonna go backwards. What the freak? I wanna know what happens if you like get near them. You can't interact with them. Where are you? Would you hurry up? Why didn't you pee when it said you were the toilet? Oh, she's coming back. Here we go. Which one's walking weirder? <laughs> oh, literally nothing. Literally nothing. All right, all right. Okay, weirdo. Can you visit the bar? Take sausage, please, because I don't know where he is. Oh, okay, loading screen. It's right there, but all right. Mm. Ow. My neck, you guys, is killing me. Okay. Either way, this might lead them into, you know, further research when they're grown up, when they're teenagers. Travel stick will find you there. Can we can we drink at this bar? Talk about Strangerville, why not? Hello. Friendly. Honey. Can't order drinks though. Can play music. Don't think there's anything much we can do here either. Can't swipe anything. Nope. I doubt we're gonna have to go home. Should really check out that secret lab. Yeah, but we can't because it's not doing anything for us. Okay. Home, where do we go? get a massage what from from who oh me for my neck all oh, right yeah now i get you oh look at that who's that hello meredith roswell that's such a cute dress not gonna lie 
She's adorable. Who is she? What is she doing here? What is going on with this whole thing? Whoever she is, she's adorable and I love her. Going home. Sai. Who's Sai? Let's go home because it is now Sausage's birthday so he has to age up into a teen and then he can come back and see if he can dabble around as a teenager. Maybe we should bring Salsa. Salsa's good though. Like Salsa's a good guy. He's good and he's fussy. So I don't know. Although he is in the Backstreet Kids so how good can he be really? I mean maybe it's comparatively good. Oh my gosh I can't tip my head. We need to pick traits for for sausage. We need to bake him a cake. What's concerning? Which which part? <laughs> which part of all this is concerning? Right. All right, boys. It is six seven a.m. Can't yeah. I can't tell too far back. It's. I can do side to side, not too bad, but I can't go too far back. It's this sort of back part of my neck that I that I hurt. <sighs> I think it was getting up a million times with the kids, but it's fine. There's one piece of cake. Can we stick a candle in this one piece of cake? Will that do the trick? What are you sad about? Oh, man. Chat with Dip. Okay, well, listen. Before you do that, can you, Brant, I know you're sad. Uh, when I grow up, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to get ready for being a ninja when I'm a grown up? Practice your hiding. Now can I cook you a cake, please? Chocolate cake, please, and thank you. Right, we can close the Good Timers Club. There's Dip. Where are you going? Are you going to bed? Yeah, he's going to bed, which is fair. <laughs> Steak's just gonna like, I'm gonna eat some cake. Gonna Parenting level six. Man, Sarah is a bomb parent. You can now make other parents feel better when parenthood gets tough. When caring for babies, Sarah can now see what her baby needs. Well, it's a bit late for that. All your babies are grown up. But more power to you. Good job, Sarah. Work starts for Sarah in one hour. Starts for Brant in one hour. Oh, sugar. We need to go to work with Brant today and we need to get him promoted. He's uncomfortable because his house is a shitty mess. Mood. <laughs> Stop crying into the cake. Stop not eating the cake. Hey there, I heard you became friends with Dip Jones. He's pretty cool. Are you kidding me, Potato? Right now, seriously, you're wearing sunglasses and a Christmas hat and texting me about being friends with my eldest son. Honestly, though, I was going to say, Sarah, can I make other parents feel bad because she's so good at it? Yeah, probably both, let's be honest. Potato is beautiful. She is gorgeous. Steak is off to school. Someone can take their ass to school by themselves. Oh man, look, he's going too. What a babe. Is he going? Is he okay? Go to grade school. Well, look at him. He's feeling like trash and he still goes to school. See these two youngest kids? They are the bomb. Her Christmas hat is incredible. <laughs> yeah, she wears it all year round. It is, by the way, spring and she's still in her Christmas hat. Sausage is off to school. Nice work, Sausage. Completing school projects really helps put a positive impact on your grades. Nice. Okay, Brant, time for work. Uh, I think. Work in one minute. Never mind then. Good. Okay, join. We're going to join him because we want to get him promoted. Also because... <laughs> I don't know how many people are dead at the police station because we've missed work for like two days. What? Do we, can we take bets? Can we take bets on what we think the uh, body count at the police station is going to be today? <laughs> Does anyone, anyone want to throw their hat in the ring for that one? At this rate, uh, Brant's new boyfriend is going to be the Grim Reaper at 16. Yikes. Brand is off to work. Sarah's off to work. All right, Brand, we can do this. You are feeling fine. Your performance is good. You've solved your five cases. You just need to keep your mood up and you need to do your thingies. And then we're grand. Take a report from a civilian, cross-reference the database and do some evidence analysis. Nice. All right. 
Doing good. Okay, so there's no urns in the in the chief's office, and it's still Yasmin Mander, so that's good, right? She's still a chief. Who's this? Hello, you're new. Who are you? Myasmi Mori. Is that my? Never mind. Two more. All the four perps are still alive, so that's good. Who are these people? Just random. Do we know any of these faces? Elsa Francis. I'm pretty sure we arrested her. Okay, so, so far so good. I wonder is Vlad still a, still a policeman? There's the tech. Oh, Aisha's gonna be next. Right, we're all fine. Oh look, Vlad is indeed still a freaking, he's a receptionist. I can't believe he's a young adult. Apparently this guy is a young adult. So they tell us. Oh, do you know what we need to do? Do you know what we need to do actually? We need to drink our, um, I love that we don't have to wear the uniform. We need to drink our potion of youth. Right, because apparently our birthday is literally tomorrow and we'd rather it wasn't. So drink your potion of youth, buddy. Let's <laughs> go. Do, do you mean the, the vampire is so cute? Notable newcomer. I love that he is like literally famous just for being a policeman. Just for being a cop. Drink your juice. Drink your juice, Brent. Right, go into your boss's office and you're just gonna drink it in front of her. Nice. Nice. Oh, she's like flirting. You flirting with Brent? Are you kidding me right now? Did his birthday go back? His birthday is no longer tomorrow! Success! Right. Good. Now, back to work. Um, add clues to the crime map. We can do that. We can add clues. We can analyze some evidence over here with Vlad. Welcome, welcome, Alex. How are you doing? How is your Sunday going? My coffee's getting ridiculously cold. Why are we just standing there? Oh, poof, what happened? Why do we keep teleporting all over the freaking... All over the, the place. I'm glad to hear it. How's your weekend been? Uh, enjoy the stream heading off as I'm not feeling too good. All right, Rin, feel better soon, friend. Clue discovered. The suspect hates children. What is with all these criminals and hating children? Uh, we have more clues to add. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Rin. Can you go to work? Apparently we can't. Can't click on those. Brant's discovered a clue. Do we have any more clues to add here? Oh no, he can't add them. You have to add them. Deduce a new clue. Okay, right. Well, that's fine. Uh, hey, I heard you became friends with Dip Jones. He's pretty cool. You're a ghost and he's my son and I don't understand this situation. People keep congratulating me on being friends with my son. Even, apparently, dead people. Haven't done a lot this weekend, mostly playing Sims. Listen, that's, that's valid. That's valid. We're so bad at this. So this is probably not going to work, but listen, it's fine. Just want to check our prisoners. Right, listen, none of them are even old, okay? I think we've cycled into a new generation. Nobody's even old. The only one old person, well, two old people. One of them's a vampire. And there's just, just, just Isha here. And if she dies at her desk, it will be tragic. Joanna, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How's your Sunday going? We're just trying to keep an eye on the police station of death. <laughs> because every time we're here, people keep dying on us. Who's this guy? So I gotta pause enough to let me. We need to take a civilian report as well. So I'm just waiting for Christopher to walk in yet again. Analysis was successful. Ooh, nice. Add clues. Makes a change. At least there'll be less dying, I hope. Uh, I'm doing good, how about you? I am the very best. Thank you very much. Sometimes the people that die are younger people. Who's this? Jimmy Zelliger. Oh, do you remember when he was like Dip's best friend growing up and now he's like an old man? That's kind of weird. 
Bronze has discovered the suspect has blonde hair. APB available. Alright, issue the APB. Where are you going, Brandt? Just gonna keep an eye. We also had to remove the doors in this cell because it was kept bugging out and locking people in there. So we have one empty cell, one full cell, and one cell that we use when we bring people in. You're new. You're an assistant. 